Yeah, you already know I'm obsessed with it. I can't get enough. Back with another note. Help! Help! Help me! Help! Why would anyone live in this city? There is quite literally a place in Gotham City called Crime Alley, where Batman's parents got murdered. Oh, you know, classic Gotham just is billionaires getting gunned down on the streets. I mean, sure, now they have Batman to help stop crime, but that's just one dude who cosplays as a furry. And he doesn't even have powers. Or does he? Metropolis has Superman, and Central City has The Flash. Why would you pick the one city that has a dude with no superpowers protecting it? That, con that concept just doesn't make sense to me. Are you stupid? Not only that, but Batman's rogues gallery is an actual nightmare. You got the psychopath who dresses like a clown and loves murder. And then you got the psychopath who's bald and loves murder. And then you got the psychopath who wears a pig mask and loves murder. Classic Gotham. They just have several infamous serial killers running around. Meanwhile in Metropolis, Superman is fighting a bald dude who isn't a serial killer. That concept is so funny to me. This guy is literally, essentially a god. And his arch nemesis is Jeff Bezos. Back over at Gotham, this dude carves every victim that he kills as a tally mark on his skin. Clearly Batman is a terrible protector if this dude has this many scars on him. Meanwhile in Central City, the Flash is fighting a gorilla. This guy mutilates bodies and surgically combines animal parts with human body parts. And here's Superman uh, fighting one of his greatest enemies, Metallo, who is a robot that has green rocks. Hold on, let's, let's just see what's going on in Gotham City real quick. This is a literal crocodile-human hybrid monster who likes eating people. And here's the Flash fighting a guy with an ice gun. Wow, that's... boy, that's threatening. And then back in Gotham City, we have Scarecrow. This dude utilizes chemical warfare to inject you with your worst fear. Oh, you know, just casual Wednesday night, Scarecrow's blanketing the entire city with his fear toxin. Everyone in the city is in mass hysteria and ripping each other's faces off. Again, just, just, just trying to say, like, just trying to figure out why, you know, why anyone would decide to live in the one city that has the scariest fucking villains imaginable. And the dude protecting them has no superpowers. Why why would you want to live there? I really I'm just trying to wrap my head around that. And you know, I gotta say, despite as much effort Batman puts in in being Gotham City's one and only protector, he is actual dog shit at protecting the city. At one point, he has apprehended all of these villains. But they they break out somehow. He, he puts them in the same fucking asylum. He always puts them in Arkham Asylum. Why is there not a super max fucking prison to hold these psychopaths? Why are you putting them in the same fucking busted, broken ass prisons that they've broken out of 10 million times before that they probably have blueprints of? They literally speedrun any percent break out of these fucking prisons. Is he stupid? Why are you still putting Joker in Arkham Asylum? I don't understand this logic, Batman. You're supposed to be like one of the smartest people in the DC universe, the world's greatest detective, yet you can't deduce that these these villains that you're putting in the same fucking prisons are gonna break out again, because they've already broken out before. How can you not figure this out, Batman? I just don't understand. And it's like, it would be so much simpler if Batman just killed them. But Batman does not kill, right? He puts them in the prison, then why can't the city kill them? What, what, what is up with the Gotham City government? I'm surprised that they still have an economy with how many people are dying from these horrific events that happen every 5 seconds. Is there no death penalty in Gotham City? I don't understand that. Like, you can only plead insanity so many times. The Joker has broken out countless times and committed the same exact crimes, or just even worse versions of the crimes he's already committed. And they keep putting him in the psych ward prison. I don't understand. At this point, why wouldn't they just execute him? Do the prisons there have no concept of lethal injection? Are they stupid? Maybe the crime rate in Gotham City is so high because the criminals there know they're not gonna get punished. Sure, they may get severe brain damage from Batman beating the absolute shit out of them, 
but at least they're not gonna get executed for any of the, the crimes they commit, even if they murder millions of people. And Batman's whole shtick is like, fear. They'll, they're gonna fear me. Fear is a tool. Clearly you're not sending a good enough message because no one takes you seriously. Batman don't dare come back here. Intensive treatment belongs to Joker. This is where Batman brought Joker earlier. The boss broke out easy. Batman's just a loser. You're beating the shit out of these criminals and throwing them into prison just for them to break out a week later and commit the same exact crimes. I think you gotta reevaluate how you how you deal with problems here. People are literally more willing to work as a henchman for for the Joker or the Penguin or Two Face or literally any supervillain than they are to work at like McDonald's over in Gotham City. Do do the crime lords offer better benefits or something? Do they offer full health insurance for when Batman rocks their shit? The fact that so many Gotham City citizens are willing to be literal henchmen for supervillains is quite concerning. Maybe, maybe the reason why there are so many henchmen in Gotham City is because they can't find normal jobs because the economy is so bad because of all the crimes that are happening. Guys, I think I just made a revelation here. The only way people can make a sustainable living in Gotham City is by doing crime. That's why there's so much crime. And who's the guy behind it all? Batman. Batman is the true villain because he's a billionaire in a shitty, crime-ridden city. He's clearly not giving back to the city, otherwise there wouldn't be so much crime. If Batman invested some of his money back into Gotham City's economy, then the citizens wouldn't have to depend on crime so much, which he doesn't want to do, because then he wouldn't be able to be Batman anymore. And you may be wondering, well why does he want to be Batman so badly? Is it for vengeance? <laughs> Don't be so naive. He is a billionaire after all. It's all about the business. Money. He funnels his money into his money. Batman expenses, money. enabling him to beat the shit out of many criminals at a time, thus sending them to various hospitals within Gotham City. This allows Batman to profit off of their healthcare, because he's sending them to hospitals that he owns. Then he sends them to prisons that he also owns, so he's double profiting off of them. He then allows them to break out after some time, so then he can repeat this vicious cycle of stealing their money. You heard it here guys, Batman is the true villain of Gotham City. I'm out here exposing- I've been looking for you. Something's in my eyes. 